Welcome to ESPN College Football presented by Cars.com here at Memorial Stadium in Norman. A matchup that impacts the Big 12 championship and playoff race. Top 15 teams, Oklahoma and Kansas State, square off. The Sooners are 5 and 1. Their loss a couple of weeks ago at TCU. The Wildcats are 4 and 1, but their lone defeat was out of conference at home against Auburn. Baylor atop the conference standings. Oklahoma State 3 and 0 in conference play. And if OU loses today, the Sooners in trouble. And they lost to Kansas State on this field 2 years ago. Trevor Knight is 10 and 1 as a starter. And he will throw it out into the flat. And there's Shepard past the 30-yard line and bumped out near the first down marker. To get some rhythm, they're going to go tempo. Knight pulls it back and throws to Shepard. Spun down after an eight-yard gain. Second down and 10 for Kansas State. You can see a lot of this checking at the line of scrimmage. Jake Waters has a supreme understanding of this offense for Bill Snyder and loves to check. And Waters kept at that time and was ripped down in the backfield by Jordan Adams. So that's a three-yard loss. Jordan Evans on the tackle. And, you know, we were talking uh, with offensive coordinator Josh Heupel yesterday, and he said, you know, when you have so much talent like Trevor Knight does, he can throw it, he can run it, you got to let it go sometimes. Don't try to be perfect in the game, but just let the game come to you. And I think so far, so good for Trevor Knight. Well, they got Knight lined up wide, and the belldozer formation is back. Blake Bell, the former quarterback, now tight end, and he pushes the pile to get the first down. 24 career rushing touchdowns for Blake Bell, and it's a first down for OU. 37 career touchdowns, including 12 passing. Here's Alex Ross with a big hole, upended at the 37. He's still out with uh, an injury, missing his fourth straight game. Knight rolling out, gets a great block, but a flag down. Knight tackled short of the marker. Ryan Mueller got drilled, and now Knight is shaken up as well. You would imagine an Oklahoma penalty. Trevor Knight got hit by Randall Evans on that far sideline. The backup is Cody Thomas, a freshman who's thrown four passes and is a baseball player. Plays outfield on the OU baseball team. And that does not look good for Trevor Knight over there on the sideline. Looks like they're looking at his left arm. He went down kind of awkward. Randall Evans, number 27, kind of landed on top of him. You know, they didn't run Trevor Knight early in the season because Cody Thomas had an injury. It looked like he had his shoulder. He had his arm out in front of him there. So it's second down and 20, and Cody Thomas going to hand it off. And making guys miss is Alex Ross past the 35-yard line. First down into Kansas State territory and all the way to the 37. That's a way to help the new quarterback on the first play get a huge gain of 41 yards. Uh, this is a guy that has the speed. Once he gets to the second level, he just can make you miss. And that time Schellenberger, the safety, comes up. No chance of getting Alex Ross on the ground. Great cut, great vision. You made the comment last night at our meeting. He reminds you of Darren McFadden, kind of how he's built, how he runs. A little trickery here as they pitch it to Shepard. He's got running room. And wrapped up just short of the marker by Schellenberg. And now, just seven minutes in, your starter gets hurt, and so Cody Thomas is in. Mueller gets cut block, and the pass by Thomas is caught to Shepard. Turns up field and comes up a yard short of the first down. Second down and short. And here's P. Ryan picking a hole, getting the first down. Here's P. Ryan again. They're running between the tackles and having success as P. Ryan is inside the 10. 11th play of the drive. Can the Wildcats get a stop here? Force a field goal at second down and two. High snap. And in trouble is Thomas, but somehow got the first down. First and goal from the two for OU. 
Great job not panicking. You come in for your first meaningful series as an Oklahoma quarterback. You get a bad snap, and you just fight. weave your way back in there and protect the football. They give it to P. Ryan, who's in. Touchdown, Oklahoma. That's number 10 to lead the Big 12. Trevor Knight runs back to the Oklahoma bench with his helmet on. In time to see P. Ryan hit Pater. Play action. Waters with time and knocked away incomplete on a pass intended for Lockett. That's Zach Sanchez who has five interception returns for a touchdown with the pass breakup. Well, and what Sanchez does, he sits on routes. You see him there. You catch the receiver at the top of the route. Very well done. It's a very physical approach from a corner. But if Sanchez is going to sit at the top of routes, the only answer is to run by him or, or double move him. And that's the thing that he struggled with. And back on the field, the quarterback for Oklahoma is Trevor Knight after missing that last series. And he'll throw on first down. And it's Pirine out of the backfield. Hard to get him down. And Morgan Burns tried to drag him to the ground. Striker to the edge. You're going to check that now. He looks to the sideline. They love option. They love throwing the football against Maine. Here comes pressure. Waters in trouble and sacked. Back at the 48-yard line. Dominique Alexander was back there, along with Charles Tapper. See if they go back to the run game after the pick six. No, nope, it's a pass, and wide open in the middle of the field is Bell into Kansas State territory to the 47-yard line, a 22-yard pass play. Just like we saw Gronkowski for Kansas State, it's going to be Bell off of play action. Truman, the linebacker, 21, has got to respect that run game, and they need Blake Bell to continue to make more plays. They go up tempo here, another pass play, and a deep toss. Shepard wide open. He'll score. Touchdown, Oklahoma. What a bounce back by the Sooners. Knight finds Shepard, 47 yards. Sooners look like they might bring some pressure here, and the play clock is down to two. Waters, fade, end zone, and it's incomplete. Lockett got tangled up with Zach Sanchez. Who made the breakup. That's the second time he's defended a pass today, so it's third down and goal. You can get away with some contact if you're looking back for the ball. Sanchez is always looking back for the ball, so both guys will hand check and the officials. That's a great no call in that situation. Both guys fighting for the ball. They both have equal opportunity for that football. Play on. First down at the 45-yard line. And here's Shepard on the pitch. And Shepard oh, gets thumped that time by Dante Barnett after a gain of about six. Here's Tom. No following up on what Brian Greasy was saying about pressure. With Oklahoma on the back end, Bob Stoops is talking to a young defensive secondary. As we see Trevor Knight here throw the ball out to Sterling Shepard on the perimeter. Talking about the defensive personnel on the back end, a lot of youth. They've had communication problems. Can Trevor Knight make a play? Rolls to his left and keeps. And that was easy for Knight. He got the first down inside the 35-yard line. Knight has time. And Shepard is there to make the catch. Good throw by Trevor Knight that time for a first down near the 20. Now, Michael Cunningham trying to tie the Big 12 record for most field goals made in conference history, and he does. It's now Honeycutt and Mason Crosby, who did it at Colorado. 71 career made field goals, most in the Big 12. Second down and seven. Kansas State leading by four. Final four minutes here of the first half. Robinson again, and he's able to break a tackle, but then stumbles and loses about a half yard. Ever Golson is playing outstanding at the quarterback position and defensively their coordinator Van Gore he'll have something cooked up for big James Winston. Ever Golson has had trouble hanging out of the ball the last couple games. They fake the run and now Waters in trouble and down he goes back at the 32 yard line. That's a five yard loss. Gino Grissom. 
Waters in trouble again and sacked again. It's Grissom that got there. And so it's fourth down. Shepard is out after getting injured on that last possession. Knight rolling out and another throw along the sideline. A beautiful toss and the catch made this time by Bennett. Second down and 10. And Knight steps up and throws complete inside the 15 yard line is true freshman Micaiah Quick. Now they got a hustle. Got clock. He has eight rushing touchdowns. Seven have come in this formation as the Wildcat QB. No running room here though. Grabbed by Charles Tapper. So a loss on the play as the first team all Big 12 performer Charles Tapper comes up with a stop. Third down and eight. And remember they have all kinds of issues with their field goal kickers. They'd love to get a touchdown and go up double digits. Waters in trouble, throws it into the end zone, almost caught. Deontay Burton had a chance to pull it in for a touchdown. I don't think when he turned around, he didn't realize the ball was right there. See, they try to run P. Ryan. They're going to fake it to him here and throw complete. And it's going to be a first down to the fullback, Dimitri Flowers, into Kansas State territory. Yeah, I'm with you, Dave. I, I think you need to get the football to, to P. Ryan, and I think Kansas State is thinking that as well. They go play action on first down, and good play. Another play fake, and going downfield this night for Shepard. He pulled it in. What a grab by Shepard inside the 20. I mean, why wouldn't you just continue to throw the ball up to number three? He's such a competitive player. Talking with Bob Stoops, he felt like that was his biggest asset was his competitiveness. Now Piron out of the flat, runs over the defender, DeCorey Johnson, and he's inside the 15-yard line. Yikes. Take a look, Piron. 250. Check that it was Morgan Burns. Oh, who got tattooed by... P. Ryan, who in the run game has only got 19 yards on nine carries. Give it to the big man. And P. Ryan has the first down inside the six yard line. Knight going to throw, and it's caught for a touchdown by Blake Bell. The former quarterback, Blake Bell, with his second touchdown of the season. And the Sooners, an extra point away from tying the game. Again, play fake. And on the slant, Shepard makes the catch. They're going to blitz. Here's Ross. Got a crease inside the 40. Got the first down before slam to the turf by Will Geary at the 36. Remember Michael Honeycutt missed a field goal earlier, a short one. Knight with time, and boy, a lot of cushion there as McDaniel allowed Duran Neal to get open. They're going to throw from the end zone, and it's caught by Shepard and tackled at the... No, he didn't go down. He was still going. He landed on the defender. Morgan Burns put his hand on the ground and got the first down. Great effort by Sterling Shepard that time. Just a, everybody talks about his route running and his speed and his hands. I like his competitiveness. This is a kid that wants every inch. He had that injury in the first half. He's still hobbling around. And they called that pass play and Knight threw an interception to McDaniel that he returned for a score. Dump it off to Ross and he gets the first down. McDaniel on the stop, but moved the chains for the Sooners. He's not done much running the football. 39 yards, so they'll let Ross have a try. He breaks a tackle, keeps his balance. Finally cut down at the 47, but that's a gain of 16 or 17 yards. It's a good sign the start of the fourth quarter for Oklahoma. You got a guy in Shepard that's given maximum effort. Take a look at Ross. He's refusing to go down, spinning, giving his body up for the team. This is an Oklahoma team. We question how are they going to respond after the loss to TCU and looking terrible on offense against Texas. P. Ryan is back in the game. He'll get the carry here straight ahead. And boy, is he hard to get down. He had three Kansas State guys wrap him up. And P. Ryan at 240 and moved everybody and got 10 yards on the play. Third down and five. 
Knight with a quick throw to Neal, and he makes the catch for an OU first down at the 32. That's a big development for Oklahoma. Deron Neal, somebody to compliment Sterling Shepard. Patience on the slant route. Good job holding on to that ball. McDaniel gets his hand in there. They go quick here, up tempo, and a pass by Knight. Pulled in inside the 15 by Shepard. It'll be a first and goal as Shepard gets catch number 13, 178 receiving yards on the day. Great throw from Trevor Knight right behind the safety. Such a fluid athlete. Knight pulls it back and throws wide open as Neal. Touchdown, Oklahoma. That Trevor Knight has really played well today. Just a yard shy of 300 yards passing and his third touchdown. Nick Hodgson trying to keep it away from him. He's got four returns for touchdowns on kickoffs. Will he get a shot here? Here comes Lockett. And he's hit at the 10 and doesn't make it to the 20. Great coverage by Oklahoma. It was Stephen Parker. They'll throw it to Shepard out in the flat. He's got room. Banged out of play by McDaniel at the 37-yard line. See the potential of this offense. Knight will throw again. And a sliding catch made by Shepard. Reception number 15. He's right near the 200 yard mark on the day and if you're Kansas State you've got to stop committing to safeties in the run game you trust your front seven to stop this run game for Oklahoma you cannot continue to give up these easy pitches and catches to Shepard on the outside how about just double Shepard first down near midfield for Oklahoma I'm gonna run P Ryan here bounces off of a tackle and finally goes down at the 45-yard line. A gain of six to Corey Johnson, the first man there. On second and four, P. Ryan has the first down and more. Stiff arms and an ankle tackle at the 28-yard line by Schellenberg. 17-yard gain. Sorry, Dave, and this is what happens. You get a safety deep so that you don't give up those passes, and now you get a crease up front in the front seven, and Schellenberg has to just get a shoestring Got him lined out wide here out of an empty set. They throw it backwards to Neal, and he's fighting for the first down, but will come up just short, it appears, at the 19-yard line. Third and short. It'll be a quarterback sneak, and a first down as Knight pushes the pile to the 17-yard line. First down for Oklahoma. P. Ryan gets the call and again drags a defender for an extra two yards down to the 13. P. Ryan again inside the 10, dives to the 5. First and goal for Oklahoma. Dante Barnett tried to make the tackle on that play. I'm sure a lot of people want to talk about Oklahoma losing for the second time, but Kansas State, a team to watch. As the Wildcats defeat Oklahoma 31-30, the lone loss for K-State this year at home against Auburn, a game where the Wildcats made too many mistakes to win the game. Today, it's the opponent. Oklahoma with the two interceptions, the missed field goals, an extra point. As Kansas State wins by one, and boy, how, how does the center B.J. Finney feel right now on the 10-year uh, anniversary of his father passing away from a heart attack? to win this game on the road for his dad.